Hi, Grade 10. This is a little video on um, writing the first section of your, it's the criterion A of your personal project. There's three aspects to this. The first one is that you need to state your project goal. So I would talk about your learning goal and your product goal in terms of that. You also need to connect it to a global context and you need to explain why it matters to you. So um, here you can see I've downloaded, you get eight, up to eight marks for this first section, split into three parts. You need to, basically you need to make a plan. So you need to have a learning goal, a product goal, it overrided, overarching that should be your like your goal, what your what your project is intended to do. You need to explain why it's personal to you. You need to come up, link that to the global context. You need to come up with a success criteria. So sorry, I should let, I should highlight these. You're doing a learning goal. Why are you doing this? Which is broken down into a learning goal, but also a product goal as well. And you need to say why it has personal interest to you. Why are you doing this and nothing else? And why is no one else doing this? You need to tell me your intended product. And for that product, you need a success criteria. The success criteria, remember, is for your product, not your learning. Your product is going to show what you've learned. Your product is then going to be assessed against your own success criteria that you create. And it should look like a rubric just like you use in all of your subjects across this school. You also need to present a clear, detailed plan of how you're going to get from the start to your completed product and how you're then going to judge it against your success criteria. So to do this, you're going to, to do the report, you're going to download the template. Here is the template that is shared with you on Toddle. Read everything. Read all of the guidance that's been put for you. And then complete each section in the order that they say. It, the order is based on the, the, in this document, is based on the grading. So do it in the order because then you're turning around to the person grading your work and saying, here's my work for the first part. Please give me all the grades, all the marks available. Here's the second bit. Um, so work your way through it. When you are doing your goal, you need to be specific. So not just a vague, I'm going to learn about photography. What about photography are you going to learn about? And make it measurable. I am going to learn how to make, how to take five photographs that are each different in their lighting, in their editing, etc. Um, or that they're going to have like a reflective aspect to it or something like that. Then you need to link it to you and also the global context. Google global context and you'll find them. This was, the, I think, the second image or the first image that I found on the internet when I Googled global context. It's from the IB and it shows you the six global contexts and a, a, like a question underneath just to try and get you to understand what they mean by that. So there's your global context. Make sure you use them. Um, make sure you tell us what your product is going to be, why you're doing it. Look at the guidance and the suggestions they've given and the pointers they give you. This is all excellent stuff. Come up with your plan. Remember, we, we talked about laying out our plan in what we call a Gantt chart. So you, could, you should go back to and include your Gantt chart. Um, and... The next section is the applying skills. So this is basically all you, all you need to do. Your learning goal, what you're doing and why you're doing it, and link it to the global context. Your product, how you're going to create it, what's your plan, how's it going to be graded, and then your actual detailed plan, your Gantt chart, and your success criteria, um, and then you should be good to go. Most common things that people do wrong is they are too vague. Make sure your goal is measurable. When I say measurable, I mean, like, I'm going to make a YouTube channel. It's not measurable. I'm going to make a YouTube channel that has five videos that each get over 100 views. 
that is measurable. We can actually put it up against a rubric and say, I have or have not achieved it. I've somewhat achieved it. I, I'm nowhere near achieving it. Make sure your connection to the global context is clear and thoughtful and related to you, and it actually matters. The whole point of the personal project is it's personal. No one's told you what to do. You decided what to do. So making it personal should be very, very easy. And make sure, again, we're, we're, this is a personal project, all of this should be written in your personal voice. This is you. I don't want it to sound like ChatGPT, and in fact, if it sounds like ChatGPT, there's, there's issues related to that that we won't talk about right now. But make sure you, you put your own voice in it. Um, so basically, get on with this template, get it finished. Make sure when you've finished that you go through the checklist. Is it, have you got a goal? Is it clear and measurable? Have you explained the personal aspect of it? Have you explained the connection to the global context? Have you given a plan, such as a Gantt chart, and why you created it, and why each section is why it is? And have you done a success criteria? If you've done all that, then you should swap your draft with someone else in the class, get them to have a look at it, get them to read it, and I want you to give, get some constructive feedback. You need pointers on what to do to improve it. You have, I think, 45 minutes this morning to get that done, but equally, you have time at home to really get this done. So please make sure we're working on it. There's a, a, a mass of information in the template, and even more, if you just type into Google and ask Google about personal projects, there's so much stuff out there. Loads of videos made from all over, loads of guides, loads of advice. This is about you doing work now. So good luck.